Hi guys, welcome to another video of Mathematics 2. Remember that this video belongs to a playlist where you can see the full course of Mathematics 2. Okay, so the playlist is in the uh, in the description below. Okay, now in this case we're going to see the opposite and adjacent angles. Okay, so imagine that we have two rays or two lines. Okay, well two rays because they have uh, no, sorry two lines. Okay and they cross each other at this point okay now this point is going to be called the vertex so if you can see we're gonna have several angles so i'm going to draw this with green and this one with green so the theorem of the opposite angle says that the opposite angles the opposite by the vertex angle this angle over here and this angle over here are the same or they have the same measure okay so that means that this angle and this angle over here they have the same measure and i can write it uh if i'm gonna write it i would say that the angle aod equals the angle cob because they are opposite by the vertex and also the angle aoc AOC equals the angle DOB because they are opposite by the vertex okay and also we have the adjacent angles so the adjacent angles okay so they are the ones that uh, they share one of the sides or one line over here for example this segment over here so imagine this AOD okay is adjacent to the the angle dob because both uh, share this line the line od okay so there is another theorem that says that adjacent angle they are supplementary so the addition of those adjacent angles is going to be 180 degrees so I'm, i can have for example the angle aod plus the angle dob the addition is going to be 180 degrees why is that because they are adjacent angle and also if you see for example this whole line for example a b the line a b well it's a, a straight line so uh the full angle over here is going to be 180 degrees so for example two adjacent angles also uh, they are going to be these two over here because they share this side, the line OB. So I will write that the angle DOB plus the angle BOC, the addition of those two is 180 degrees. So this that means that they are supplementary. Okay, and also you have these two adjacent and also these two adjacent uh, uh, angles. Okay, so this is the three. Let's go to one example. Okay, so we have this example. We have the two lines. We have the vertex over here. Oh, I forgot the vertex is always, well, most of the times it's O. And we have these angles. The green angles, I just draw them like that because they are opposite by the vertex and also the blue ones. And remember that these two angles are the same and these two angles are equal and the adjacent angles just like this two over here the addition their addition is 180 degrees so that means that they are supplementary uh, angles okay so uh, let's continue I'm gonna make the the equations or for example I can say that this angle over here x plus y oh what 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 do i have to do i have to find x and y find x and y for this problem okay so the angle aod equals the angle uh, cob and also the angle aoc equals the angle DOB because they are opposite by the vertex so let's do it um, this will be 
x plus y equals 120 degrees and the other one will be x minus 2y equals 60 degrees so if you see what i have here is a an equation system okay two equations two variables and there are many methods to solve it uh, there is there is the graphic method there is the addition and subtraction method and there is also the substitution method okay so in this case what i'm going to do um i'm going to perform the addition and subtraction method but first what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply this full equation times two if i do it well two y well y it's going to become two y and it's going to be eliminated by minus 2y okay so let's do it i'm going to rewrite the equation so it's going to be 2x times 2 is 2x plus 2y equals 120 times 2 is 240 degrees and then the second equation x minus 2y equals 60 degrees okay so how much is that? Well, this is going to be eliminated with this one. And 2x plus x is going to be 3x. And this is going to be 300 degrees, 240 plus 60. So that means that x equals 300 over 3. So x equals 100 degrees. Okay um that is the value of x i'm gonna circle it now let's find the value of y now in order to find the value of y for example <clears throat> well i can substitute the value of x in any of the equations so for example i'm going to substitute the value of x in the equation number one okay I repeat i'm going to substitute the value of x in the equation number one so let's do it it will be 100 plus y equals 120 so y equals 120 minus 100 and y equals uh, 20 degrees okay and that will be the answer now if you want to uh, check your answers and see if that is true well for example what i what i can do is that i can substitute for example x plus y is going to be 100 plus 20 um, 100 plus 20 well that will be 120 so this angle over here is 120 just like we mentioned that before okay because they are opposite by the vertex so they are exactly the same and what about the other one okay this will be 100 minus 2 times 20 that is 40 and 100 minus 40 is 60 okay so we have 60 degrees and if you see i got 60 and this 60 equals this 60 over here now if you see well what happens if i add them all okay i have 120 plus 60 plus plus 60 plus 120 plus 60 it must be 360 degrees because this must be one full circle or a circumference okay so this was an example of um opposite and opposite by the vertex and adjacent angles guys i hope this was clear well in this particular case we just saw an equation system okay so stay tuned guys for this next videos